Ah, you wanna play? All right. No. What the fuck am I? We have been playing games for a long time and some things have been with us for so long. That is already seems absolutely impossible without them and we are very used to them. And if somebody remove what we are used to, we feel deprived of something important and we don't want to put up with it. If I say that shooters led us the wrong way for the long time, they gave us the wrong experience and created something that simplifies the gameplay but spoils the game immersion. And game immersion is one of the main things that we come to the game world for. And I am talking about the reticle, not about the physical sign, which are part of the weapon, but about the interface element. Crosshairs a point in the center of the screen, a frame, a circle, brackets, it can be called as you like. It's comfortable thing, with it you feel like a better and more accurate shooter. Monster kill! We got used to it, as we once got used to mother's breast or a pacifier. But is it time for us to throw away this pacifier and become more mature? And this learned helplessness. We have already considered it shooting from the point of view of mechanics. Now it's time to consider it from the point of view of the game design. And what do you think is the game designer's task of shooting? I believe that shooting should convey the experience. Let the players feel that they are shooting a weapon. We have already talked about recoil, impact, all these grandly affect the feeling of shooting, but what affects a shooting experience? In reality it's clear, we take a weapon, shoot, that is direct experience. And in the game, how can we get the same thing, when we don't have a gun in our hands, but a gamepad or mouse with a skateboard? When I was 7 years old, my father gave me a NES console, and there was a game Duck Hunt. I think everyone knows it. There was also this pistol included, and in my opinion, it was needed only for this game. You just took this gun and shoot in the screen. There was no crosshair. I still don't understand how it works, and it doesn't matter. The main thing is that then, in the age of 7, I received the experience of shooting in a video game as close to reality as possible, and it was an amazing experience. Otherwise, I wouldn't remember this after so many years. It was shooting without a sight that gave this feeling. This game also had clay shooting, and it was even cooler, because the clay moved away and became smaller and smaller, and then very small. And getting into such a small clay was the highest delight. Now imagine, even holding this gun in your hands, if there was a reticle on the screen and we would not aim from the weapon itself, but simply control the reticle as a point on the screen, it would be a completely different experience. You know what I mean? Does a reticle give us a shooting experience? I think no. It gives us the experience of accurately pointing across at the target, and at the same time pressing a shooting button. This is not much different from the fact that we control the mouse pointer. If we take a gun in real life and point at the same target, most likely we will not be able to tell exactly where the first bullet will hit before firing, and only after shot we understand exactly where it will hit. This is experience. Having fired the first shot, we gained shooting experience. And if you immediately make a second shot without changing the position of your hand and weapon, it will be much easier to guess the trajectory in second time. Yes, with experience we will be able to predict the first shoot better. But you need to gain the experience yourself, through trials, through unsuccessful attempts, through mistakes. But what happens when there is a reticle on the screen? They have already determined for us exactly where the bullet will hit. Well, what next do you say? What difference does it make? What you aim for? We are not in real life. Have you tried removing the reticle in a game and shooting? This is nonsense. I want to feel like a cool guy in a game and make headshots and not be crooked and worthless. Even if you can get used to it and learn to shoot accurately without a reticle, you really need to get over it. Why do we need this torment? One smart guy has already come up with a way to warm up our assholes, as if we don't have enough problem in life. Now there is another one here that's starting to make life difficult. You force us to tense up instead of getting high and enjoying shooting. Honestly, I have always been infuriated by such whiners who always complain that somewhere they have made it more difficult, somewhere you need to sink a little, you need to strain a little. Those who are accustomed to one thing, something simple, and do not want 
want to try reject something new. But this is all just a theory, thinking out loud, no convincing reasons or arguments. But let's check, let's check in practice what it really is. Let's remove the reticle in some game and shoot. By the way, not in every game it can be removed altogether. Come on. Hey, come on, shoot him. What's a joke? I think I'm getting here. Can I even get him? I'm aiming for sure right here. Shit, bastard, fuck up everything. The last of us seems broken. Let's try Resident Evil. Here everything is simply slower. Fuck, here too? I can't hit him from 3 meters? Are you joking? Oh come on. How crooked I am. Does the reticle real help that much? Yes, some kind of bullshit turns out. Ok, now let's do an experiment. Let's imagine mentally, by eye, where the bullet should hit. Draw a straight line along the gun. The bullet flies straight, right? I guess. Now shoot. What? What the hell, a bullet's hitting somewhere out of the way. Why is that? Ok, let's check in the last of us. Draw a line, where will the bullet hit? You think this way, right? Bad luck. That's where a bullet hit. Well, you are hard players, and you will say. The bullet hit to the center of screen. But measuring the center of screen by the eye is quite difficult. Especially if you try to do it quickly. It turns out that's why they made reticle in games. I guess I screwed up. Shooting without a reticle is a stupid idea. It seems that you will feel cooler that way, that no one helps you. But when you don't understand why you don't get there, it's really pissed you off, irritates. But I still leave everything that I said and will not redo this video. Let it be as it is. Mistake is a part of experiment. Yes, my theory has failed. Well, it happens. And a little more about the game design of shooting. I want to talk about two types or two shooting modes. Conditionally call them aim shooting and offhand shooting. Both of these types are present in modern shooters. With the first person view everything is clear, but I am more interested in shooting without a third person view and how these two types of shooting are implemented here. For example, our favorite Max Payne 3 and Hitman both have these types of shooting, but how it is implemented? Let's see. In Max Payne we can fully move, run and shoot, everything is clear, everything is accurate, but there seems to be aim shooting mode. But what does it give? Just zooms in camera a little bit and it also slows down Max Payne, forcing him to just walk instead of running. So why we need this mode, if we can just as well run like this in reverse turn and shoot with the same accuracy? This mode is meaningless in this case, it does not give any tactical advantage. Well, what about Hitman? Here we have a traditional aiming, everything seems to be ok here, but there is also offhand shooting mode, and here is just some kind of bastard random scatter of bullets. The gun always looks straight and the bullets fly in a different direction, like from a watering hose. Even at very close range we don't hit the enemy. And where is the assassin skill here? Theoretically you can shoot blindly from cover and then everything seems to be justified, although not quite. But here it's still possible to understand. But when he shoots straight in front of him it's kind of weird. How did I implement these two types of shooting in breakback? There is shooting of hand, the camera approach slightly and the character at the same time as mobile as possible. When we are aiming, the camera approaches much more closely as it possible, to hit targets more accurately at more distance and the character is already less mobile as he aims harder. And by separating these two modes with more significant differences, we give the player a more tactical approach to the situation and choose a more appropriate type of shooting for each case. But here is something else. I decided not to limit myself to just these two types of shooting. I decided balance the shooting in the direction of accuracy. Because there are situations when you absolutely need to make an accurate shot. For example when the enemy does not see you and you keep him at gunpoint. 
and you have the Adventures of Surprise. I added a scene that I spied in Metal Gear Solid 5. The mode of aiming through the iron sight as with the first person view, but in a game with a third person view. Real plausible accurate aiming without any auxiliary UI elements. And what's more interesting, for the sake of balance and credibility, I made it so that you could not instantly enter this mode by right clicking, as this is usually done. On the right mouse button we have a very fast of hand mode, when we aim less accurately but very quickly. If we need to aim better, we press the middle mouse button. It seems to me that even this small trifle with the controls slightly enhanced the immersion, because it is inconvenient to hold the middle mouse button for a long time. It gives a little discomfort to the player to feel through the control that is difficult to aim for the long time. To switch to the iron side shooting mode, we need to hold down the middle mouse button and scroll the wheel forward, then only we switch to this mode. It takes some time to aim properly. So we get a balance between these three shooting modes already. And what happens if we add the reticle we devalue the aim and shooting in this case, as it happens in Max Payne 3, because in both modes it's equally easy for us to aim. In Hitman these stupid brackets are not really needed at all, because the spread will not allow us to conduct aim at fire in offhand shooting mode, even if there would be a crosshair, they are more of a hindrance. Well, ok, let's say the thought is not so stupid, but what to do with discomfort for shooting without a reticle? We find out that it's terribly inconvenient, probably yes, but you noticed that everywhere in breakback is demonstrated shooting, there is no reticle. Even shooting at targets from a very long distance turns out to be quite accurate. Well yes, of course the spread from the recoil when firing is a burst is quite strong, but the direction of fire is guessed more or less accurately and without the reticle. When I was recording this, it wasn't at all difficult for me to aim, and there is no trick with the reticle, it really doesn't exist. But what's the deal? The answer will be prompted by the devs of the remake Resident Evil, but not the second and not the third part, but the fourth. If we turn off the reticle here and shoot, we will be surprised that for some reason it turns out to shoot normally and even hit opponents from the fairly long distance and without a reticle. Do not believe it? Try to play Resident Evil for yourself without a reticle and write in the comments it's turned out or not. But what was done in the first part? Here is a logic problem for you. Look at the shooting of Resident Evil 2, The Last of Us, Breakback and Resident Evil 4. Why in the first two games it is impossible to shoot accurately without a reticle and in the other two it is quite possible. The answer? Camera. It's about the location of camera relative to the character. Remember, we drew a line along the weapon to determine where the bullet would hit. Now let's do the same with the Resident Evil 4. Oh my god, we calculated the trajectory correctly, it is a miracle. And what about breakback? We draw the line, well, you guess it, it turns out that way here too. And yes, the red line is not 100% reliable beam fired along the weapon. It is an approximate line that we mentally draw when we evaluate with the bullet hit in one case or another. For everyone, it will be plus or minus different, but not as much as here or here. It turns out that if you correctly position the camera relative to the character, so that he was not somewhere to the side and we aimed with his own hands and could guess the trajectory of the bullet by mentally drawing a line from his weapon, then we don't really need a reticle and the immersion will be much better, because we feel the connection of the character with aiming, we aim as if together with him. And there will not be such a significant difference between the position of the weapon and the center of the screen, where the bullet flies as here. But don't get me wrong, I'm not against any sides, and not for hardcore, I've been thinking for a long time about adding this feature to the game. I'm talking about the possibility of the piece… I'm kidding. I'm talking about a laser sight. On the one side, this doesn't break the immersion since it exists in real life and it is quite possible to aim through it in real life. But on the other side, it's like a little imbalanced compared to shooting without a laser sight. But after thinking a little and testing, I realized that the laser is not very imbalanced, since firstly it's a quite realistic and small, secondly it moves along with the weapon, which makes it quite difficult to track it when shooting or moving quickly, which is also realistic, and thirdly it's not permanently turned on and it still needs to be turned on each new weapon selected. 
and so it just still helps a little in aiming and in understanding the trajectory of the bullet, especially at first, while there is still no habit you can use it. Well, also without the reticle, the functionality of the laser sight is more justified, since it is not needed with it, it is stupid for beauty, there is no benefit, because we already have one reticle. So, as you can see, even a laser sight reveals its functionality better without a crosshair on a screen in the form of an interface. Well, it's time to finish. And yes, where I was talking about whiners who need to strain themselves, I wasn't serious. I respect all players and everyone can play their favorite games the way they like. Well, just not with the reticle. That's not. Well, you understand. I love and respect everyone. Especially those who have watched it up to this point. And especially those who like and comment. And especially those who donate and sponsor me. They generally have special respect. Okay, I'm kidding. I love and respect everyone equally. Hug it everyone. See you again. Peace.